Thank you so much. Well, Mark Zuckerberg heads back to Capitol Hill in just a few hours uh, now. The spectacle continues. He faces even more questions from lawmakers. Yesterday, he was contrite during most of the testimony. Jake Reiner's here with the highlights. Good morning. Good morning. It was supposed to be this big showdown, and there were some moments that, you know, were pretty good. But ultimately, uh, a lot of tech, tech experts are saying that there were a lot of softball questions. Today, it's round two on Capitol Hill for Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. And this morning, we have, we have an idea of what the grilling might look like. He spent five hours Tuesday answering senators' questions about privacy and election interference. What happened here was in effect willful blindness. It was heedless and reckless. Why should we trust Facebook? We have made a lot of mistakes in running the company. Hundreds lining up to see 33-year-old billionaire Mark Zuckerberg now facing a firestorm for Facebook's role in Russia election meddling and not protecting user information. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake. And I'm sorry. One senator demanding to know if Zuckerberg would want his personal information shared, just like what Facebook allowed with its users. Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Uh, no. <laughs> if you messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that might be what this is all about. Your right to privacy. And speaking of privacy, here's Louisiana Senator John Kennedy on Facebook's user agreement that every user is required to approve. Here's what everybody's been trying to tell you today, and I, I, I say this gently. Your user agreement sucks. <laughs> You're a, you, you, you can spot me 75 IQ points. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. It's about as gentle as it gets. <laughs> One of the other big takeaways from yesterday were revelations the personal data of many as 87 million unsuspecting Facebook users was harvested by Cambridge Analytica, a political data firm. After questioning, Zuckerberg uh, revealed Facebook did not notify the Federal Trade Commission even after it discovered it. And one of the big takeaways from the whole thing, guys, was the fact that the senators didn't really dive deeply into this Cambridge Analytica event one uh, tech journalist calling the whole spectacle like as if Zuckerberg was battered around with soft pillows. Wow. So it was even why did it happen and how to prevent it from happening was barely even touched on. And why didn't you tell anybody about it was Absolutely. the other was the other big thing. And, uh, uh, you know, one of the softball questions was one of them was from Orrin Hatch, mm -hmm. uh, basically asking, how do you sustain a business model if you don't ask your users to pay for the service? To which Zuckerberg replied, we run ads. With a straight face. Right. Yeah. I know. Very interesting. Interesting um, developments. We'll see what happens today on the Hill. Much more today. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So